GCC 921 maps, looking at a really common, okay, laws of indices problem for the foundation and higher tier. So this is the start of a higher tier non-calculated paper, okay, involving laws of indices, okay, in roughly, okay, 60 seconds. Okay, let's go. Question number one, okay, work out the value of 3 to the power of 7 times 3 to the power of minus 2 all over 3 cubed. So step one, deal with the numerator first. Okay, so when I multiply with the same base, I'm going to add the powers. So it's 3 to the power of 7 plus minus 2. Now, be very careful with your, with your negatives. If you add a negative, it becomes a subtraction. So 7 minus 2 is 5. So I have 3 to the power of 5 all over 3 cubed. Again, the second law of indices state that if I divide with the same base, I subtract the powers. So 3 to the power of 5, take away 3, is 3 squared. Now be careful, guys. Okay? Most students here would leave the answer as 3 squared. The question says work out the value of. So it wants a number, a numerical answer. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so the answer is 9. Okay, one mark would be given if you put 3 squared. Okay, but for the full two marks, okay, Put the numerical answer value, okay? So watch out, yeah, and read the question carefully in your Edexcel, OCR, and AQA exam. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. All the best. Okay, good luck with the 10 days left. Question 10 now, so 10a, simplify this algebraic fraction. So we're going to cancel down some terms. Okay, I can rewrite this as x minus 1 all over 5 lots of x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now, I've got an x minus 1 on the top and bottom that is common to both. So I can cancel down, okay, the x minus 1, okay, from each side. So I'm going to cancel down there, cancel down there. So I'm left with 1 over 5 lots of x minus 1. Okay, and that would work one more. Okay, this next one factorize fully. Okay, so watch out here for the addition in, in the exam guys because the examiners love putting these questions in. Okay, pull out a factor of two first. So two brackets, 25 minus y squared. Okay, we have a hidden difference of two squares here. Okay, so it's gonna be two lots of five plus y times 5 minus 1, okay? So remember, difference of two squares can appear in any form. It's normally in the form x squared minus y squared, okay? But it can be in the form of a number or a square number, subtract a square term, okay? And that is my final answer. One mark for getting that part, and the second mark is for identifying the difference of two squares, okay? I hope you found that useful, okay? Let me know in the comments. Did you get that answer right? Okay, all the best. Good luck with the 10 days left.